bit. But for now, watch these cute videos. Do it super fast. Completely on your own. Ready, set, go. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. That was great. Anybody else want to try? Mm -mm. Okay. Well, mm -mm. all right, Sophie, we'll let you do it. Okay. I, I mean, I think your name's Sophie. Is it Sophie? Yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, ready? Go as fast as you can. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide, deep and wide, fountain flowing deep and wide. You went so fast, you forgot the word. <laughs> step forward, and you, little guy, you step back and go as fast as you can. Deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide, deep and wide, deep and wide, there's a fountain flowing deep and wide. That's terrific. Who's next? Okay, you want to do it? What's your name? All right, Emma, you come over here, right here. I think actually we should probably have her back up a little bit. Oh, right here. Back up, back up, back up. Back. Don't look at the tape. All right, ready? You guys back up. Give her space. Give her space. Ready? And you, little guy. All right, ready? Go, Emma. Side of the church says Pastor Steve Brenegar on it. That just seems strange. Who is that? Big brain, we're live. Oh, well, Pastor Pickle, maybe you should tell him hello. <laughs> hello, and welcome to our Vacation Bible School. We've got a great program for you today, and we're going to start with some songs. Pastor Pickle asked me to lead the music this year because, well, what do they say about Pastor Pickle singing? It's uh, not very good. I think a bear could probably sing better than him. But anyways, anyways, I'm leading the singing. And so, so what do I need to lead the singing? It seems like I'm missing something. Oh, yes, I know. I'm missing the children. This is the only time I'm going to get to see them all vacation Bible school. So let's bring them in. How shall I bring them in, though? Oh. The Spoon of Power will do it. Here we go. Spoon of Power. The children come in. Ah, I did it. I brought the children in. I knew the Spoon of Power could do it. Pretty cool, huh, guys? Yeah. All right. Now, you need to sing and sing loudly so that Pastor Pickle can hear you all the way at his house because I don't think he came. Now, this little one needs to obviously get in his spot. Are you laughing at the great Dr. Big Brain? All right, what's the first song our wonderful pianist is going to tell us? Onward Christian Soldiers. Onward Christian Soldiers. I'm going to go down there to sing, okay? Because, well, I'm not as cute as you guys. All right, here we go.
who I've heard that deep and wide, which is Dr. Big Brains, one of my favorites. So we're going to do deep and wide, and I'll stay up here and I'll do it with you. How about that? This is wide? Yeah. No, yeah. This is deep. All right, here we go. We're ready. All right.
If you know where this baby goes, please call Dr. Big Brain's hotline at drbigbrain.com. Wait, that's not a phone number. I don't know. Pass the pickle! <laughs> and children, welcome Dr. Big Brain! Pastor Pickle, it's so great to be Glad with you here. here. Yes, yes, at this vacation Bible school. It's, it's very exciting, it's isn't it? Serious. Yes. Do you like the, the, the technology that I created for this year with this fancy, fancy super screen behind us and the magic of television? Magic of television. <laughs> oh, Pastor Pickle, it's so wonderful to be here with you once again, even if the children are not sad that they're at home. Boy, I tell you though, your production staff, not very good. Not come very good. Come on, guys, pull it together, guys. Pull laughing together. like they are. They should not laugh at the dark. Great, Dr. Big Brain, the spoon of power will come out. Children, you better pay attention to Pastor Pickle. Or the spoon brain. of power over the will top. Get you. Brain. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, a, a little over the top. But anyways, yeah. Pastor Pickle, before we get going, I want to tell you about my great new plan to rule oh, the world. What is it, work this time? No, it's not a fork, you okay. silly. Well then, Pastor how are you going to do it? No, instead, let me use this. Aha, fancy, fancy, fancy. Right. Here we go. Fancy. Ooh, a black it's screen. Impressive. <laughs> no, 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 Pastor Pickle. You see, I figured out that in order to rule the world, all I need to do is open my very own amusement park. That's somebody <laughs> else's design. <laughs> What do you mean yeah, it's from it's somebody just, else? It's a VBS we're doing. Not, see? It's just no, me. But... Oh, fine, Pastor Pickle, you're right. I, how can somebody be so creative to make something from nothing? That would just be so, so different. That's our Bible story today. God made everything from nothing. Oh. The days of creation. You would tell us about the days That's of right. creation and how God started with nothing? And made everything. Let's let's talk about that. that. Seems like it would be our lesson. Really, really cool, Pastor Pickle. I think that might qualify for the wow zone. All right, Pastor Pickle. I'm gonna sit down and try and make sure your production staff doesn't okay. mess up again. But I'll be right over there if you need me, right. Pastor Pickle. All right. Uh, uh, big right away. We're taking the controller. Sorry, uh, Pastor thanks. Pickle. Right. Here, Here you go. go. Thanks, Doctor Big Brain. Thanks for not taking it away. I've got the, uh, the control device here, you know, we're, we're doing this, and uh, welcome to the wow zone. And this is the time of our VBS where we're going to have instruction, teaching from the Word of God, and we're going to learn about God's amazing creation. And like I told Dr. Big Brain, we are dealing with the days of creation so that our Memory verse for today, Exodus 20, verse 11. For in six days the Lord made the heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them, and rested the seventh day. Now, you might have noticed I read that a little bit wrong. You can get it right, I'm sure, on our closing exercise, which is going to be this Sunday night special, our Sunday evening service. We're going to have a... a special recounting of Vacation Bible School, and I want you, yes, you, to be able to say these memory verses. So I want you to be working on them all week. Exodus 20, verse 11 for today. Our theme verse for our lesson is that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, which is Genesis 1, verse 1, which means it's the very first verse of the Bible. This verse tells us that in the beginning, there was nothing. There was no earth. There was no space. There wasn't even time. And then God spoke and brought everything into existence. So on this first day, he created the earth. He created space. He created time. He created light. But it was, it was without form. It's kind of like water in a, in a cup. Or you pour water in something else form. So he created all the matter, all the materials on this first day. Genesis 1.5 says, And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. 
and the evening and the morning were the first day that God did this. And, and the Bible tells us that he did this, and it was all very good. Then, on day two, God created the sky. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it, be, let it divide the waters and from the waters. You hear that? That's the water coming together, rushing together. It's kind of a cool sound effect, isn't it? And uh, we're, uh, the, the water's there, and the water's been divided. So now we have the sky. We go up and you look out at the sky later. God created that. And then on day three, God created the dry land and the plant. So I have a passage. I'm going to grab my Bible. It's not going to be on your screen. But listen, starting in verse 9, Genesis chapter 1. And God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth, and the gathering together of the waters called the ye seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth bring forth grass, and the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after its, his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And so it was. And the earth brought forth grass, and herb yielding seed after its kind. And the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. So now you, you notice a phrase there that's, that's very important. After its kind. And I was talking about, talking about seeds. Now, so if, if I were to go out and I had an apple seed, and I planted the apple seed in the ground, what kind of tree would grow? That's right, an apple tree. Whereas if I had a pear seed and I planted the pear seed, what kind of tree would grow then? A pear. That's right, you guys are doing great. And for those of you who are sleeping, you need to wake up because this is day three of creation. Now, that phrase, after its kind, is very important. So to just give you an example, we're not talking about animals yet, but to give you an example, God created dogs, and God made each animal like each seed according to its kind. And so from that first dog came all this wonderful variety of dogs. You see all these, these wonderful varieties of dogs that, that God has made from that, that one. And so you have different kinds of dogs, just like you have different kinds of apples. You have Granny Smith apples. You have Macintosh apples. You've got, I'm sure, some other kind of apple that you could name. I can't, but uh, I got two out there, so there you go. So God created, and that's how creation works. That there's variations within these kinds. Then, on the fourth day, God created the sun, moon, and stars. Isn't that amazing? The Bible says, and God made two greater lights. The greater light to rule the day, that's the sun. And the lesser light to rule the night, that's the moon. He made the stars also. Now you think about that and you look up at, sky, at the sky tonight. I encourage you to go do that. Go outside, look up in the sky and see how many stars are. You can't count them. We can't go visit them. We haven't even been able to name them. But God knows every single one by name. That's day four. But he did that. And he saw that it was all very good. And then we have day five. And on day five, he created the sea creatures and, and the flying creatures. So the, the, the creatures in the sea and the creatures in the air, God created. Listen to that. The beautiful creatures, the wonderful creatures that God has created. You know, it's amazing how God created these creatures. For example, take this dolphin, these dolphins for, for a moment. I want to read you a, a little thing. These are bottlenose dolphins. They're part of the sea creatures that God has made. And God designed them with a special inner layer of skin called blubber 
that keeps them warm in the water. It keeps them warm. You know, you go out in the water and the water's cold. We have to make up wetsuits and stuff. But, but God, he gave them that blubber to keep them warm. God also gave them an outer layer of skin that allows them to swim through the water smoothly with little resistance. And he gave them something called echolocation so that they can find their food. Let's say the word echolocation together. Can you say it, children? Echolocation. Great. Good. Probably said it better than I did. With echolocation, they make up to a thousand clicking noises every second. Those sounds travel underwater until they hit an object, and then they bounce back to the dolphin, showing where the object is. Let's see if we can make a thousand tongue clicks in a minute. Dolphins can do it in a second, but we'll try in a minute. No, we won't, because we all know that we can't. That's a, that's a fun activity you could do later outside. Don't do it around your mom and dad. They might, they might get annoyed. But anyways, they do it in one second. We can't do it in a minute. Now, there's another, another animal that's wonderful, an animal in the air, and that is the woodpecker. The woodpecker, who pecks holes in trees, has little tufts of feather that cover its nostrils, so wood chips won't get in. You can, you can see that on the picture, those little red, uh, red feathers. It can peck holes in trees without getting a whopping headache because God put a special cushion in its head that acts sort of like a shock absorber. Can you imagine these things just happening? The dolphin perfectly outfitted to stay warm in the water? The woodpecker perfectly designed to peck holes in woods and get its food and, and live in there and all those wonderful things. Truly, God has made a wondrous creation. It's amazing. But we're only on day five. Let's go to day six. You know, on day six, God made land animals and people. God made land animals, including the dinosaurs that come rumbling through. God's made even the dinosaurs and all the land animals. But the highest creation that he made, the pinnacle, if you will, is people. That God made people. And back in Genesis, Genesis chapter 1, start reading in verse 26. And God said, let us make man in our image and after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 31, and God saw everything that he had made and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day that God created all these things. It's amazing what he did, but that's six days. Now our week has seven days in them. That's our big I have some special slides. You have some special yes. slides? You wanna, okay, all right. I'll set that down and you can, thank you, you can get it. On day right. seven, God made the spoon of power. No, God did not make the spoon of power on the seventh day. Look, I even say it like you now. People are gonna think we're related. No, of course not. Of course, give me that back. No, on the seventh day, God rested. That's what God did on the seventh day. He rested. And he saw that all he had made was, was very good. And you can think about the, the seventh day as a day of rest. As it says in Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Let me look those up. I haven't read those yet. I closed the Bible already. Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the hosts of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work, which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work which he had made. God rested 
on the seventh day. In six short days, everything we was made, everything we see was made. So children, as we come to the, the end of our wow zone for today, I want you to remember the memory verse, the memory verse for today, Exodus 20 verse 11, for in six days the Lord made the heaven and the earth, the sea and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Day. All right, Dr. Big Brain and I will be back tomorrow with another Wow Zone. But now we're going to go to our puppet review. Well, hey everybody, here we are at the concession stand, and we have a special visitor to meet. Hi there. What's your name? It's Reese. Roller coaster Reese. That's a pretty cool name. Is it a nickname? How'd you get that? Well, I love roller coasters. The tall ones, the fast ones, the looping ones. You click, click, click up that hill and then whoosh, down you speed. I can't get enough of them. Oh, I love roller coasters too. They are loads of fun. I even got to go on a behind the scenes tour at the theme park since I work here. And I met the designer of the newest coaster, the Velociraptor. Oh, that sounds awesome. It sure was. This guy designed it so it can go from zero to 100 miles per hour in five seconds flat. Wow, that sounds like an awesome design. But you know what, Reese? Since you met the designer, you wouldn't say that that roller coaster just built itself by itself, would you? That's a no-brainer. A roller coaster could never build itself. Well, you know what's crazy, Reese? What's that? There are people who say that this world, with all the plants and animals and people and everything, just built itself. It just came about all by itself without a designer. That's nutty. I know, it's really opposite, completely opposite of what the Bible says too. I trust the Bible. You know what, I do too. I trust the Bible because of course it's the perfect book and it's always telling the truth. God says that in the beginning, he created the world in six days. That's the truth. It didn't just happen by accident. The Bible says it, that settles it. That's exactly right. And the Bible makes it clear that in six short days, everything was made. It didn't take a long time. In fact, God could have made everything in a second if he wanted to, or a millisecond. Blink your eyes and imagine that everything was made that fast. Wow, God is incredible. And you know, as incredible as those roller coasters are that the designers made, they're nothing like this world God made. It just makes me want to praise God. Me too. In fact, I'm going to celebrate and ride a roller coaster as soon as I get off work. Aw, that sounds like fun, Reese. And you know what, boys and girls? What we're going to do is try our echo phrase. So we learned already that in six short days, everything was made. But what we're going to do is do this as an echo. So I'm going to say the first part and then you're going to say the second part back to me, okay? So here we go. In six short days, everything was made. Thanks for chiming in there, Reese. That was awesome. Okay, now we're going to try it again and we're going to say it in a really low voice, okay? So here we go. In six short days, everything was made. Awesome. One more. How about a really high voice? In six short days, everything was made. Woo! You guys can keep working on it at home. If there's more than one of you watching this, you can echo back and forth in whatever funny way that you want to. But just remember, that's the truth. The Bible teaches us that God made everything. He's the creator. He's the master designer. And he did it all in six short days. Hi everybody!
everybody, my name is Debbie and this is my assistant, Aria, and we're going to talk to you today about crafts. Um, each of you got a basket. If you haven't, please give us a call and we'll get you one. Anyway, day one, day one, um, anytime you hear anybody say day one while we're talking, we want to go, yay! Can we do yay? No. Okay, we can't do yay, but if, Mrs., if Debbie says day one, say yay! Okay, so we have five days of crafts in here. We also have five days of snacks, and we have some work pages for you. So today's worksheets for day one, yay, <laughs> are the first two pages of this. And it actually says day one on there. Yay, okay. So day one's craft is going to be your creation wheel. And it's in here, and there's also crayons and markers, and so you just go through and color each one. Um, okay, anyway, and on the crafts, you wanna, um, wanna ask your mom where to set up, you might need some assistance, and also on the snacks, you wanna ask your parents if it's okay to have which snacks on which day. But, and there's a lot of neat extra things in here, and there are in. Yeah, we have bubble wands, you can use those at any time. Um, we have some neat pencils, right? And uh, we have a puppet because did anybody see Reese the puppet? Well, now you guys can make your own puppet from here. And you got little eyeballs. You put those on your fingers, and you have a puppet. So you have a puppet. So you can have your own Reese at home. Oh. That craft sounds like a great way to review today's lesson. Remember, in six short days, everything was made. Also, I want you to be working on that memory verse for today, Exodus 20, verse 11. For in six days the Lord made the heaven and the earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and he rested the seventh day. I want you to keep working on that, review these verses each and every day. We'll do that at the very end here. Now, before we go, we're going to play uh, one of my favorite songs again. We're going to do the Wordless Book. I want you to sing along at home. And then after that, we will see you tomorrow. A very important song. So we really want to sing out on this one. It is the wordless book, right? Yes. Yes. All right, great. And let's get her the wordless book. Ready? What's that? Ha ha. Now, why don't you step off to the side and you can do it. I think you can. I can't see you. All right, here we go. <laughs> I bet you do. Well, the spoon of power is going to make it happen. Are you ready? This is from a few years ago, and it's just for fun. <sighs> Pastor Pickle should be calling any moment. Ah, there he is now. Hello, Pastor Pickle. How are you today? I'm doing good, Big Brain. Doing very good. 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 Terrific. Have you set out some more bear traps? Because I certainly have. I see this sign. We're not worried about it. We're My fine. traps? 
Not so good, I don't think. I think oh. they might get through. But anyways, 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 anyways. Who cares about that? Okay. How was your third day of vacation Bible school? It was good. It was good. We really had Excellent. a good day. Yeah. Did the children enjoy my video message? Yeah. Were they terribly it. scared by the bear? No, they thought it was funny. Oh, you're right. Wait a second. They laughed at you? And they you? They laughed at me? Yeah. They laughed at the great Dr. Big Brain? You're kind of funny. I guess that's okay. Good. Now, I know what you're wondering, Pastor Pickle. You're wondering why I'm wearing this fancy hat here. Not really, but well, go ahead and tell me. Just before you called, I was working on a super secret project. Can you yeah? keep a secret? Of course. Good. Good. And tell the children to keep this secret, too. Okay, will do. I am developing a transporter. Really? And this hat allows yeah, this, me this to go out, through the yeah. transporter without any problems. That's oh, right. Isn't that this guy funny? can transport. Okay. All right. Yeah. Very so, good. Very so, good. Yeah. I hope a bear doesn't hit me in the face. I hope so, too. Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh, oh, it's a bear! Oh, bear. oh no! Oh, big brain! Big, oh, hit him with the spoon! Oh, hit him with the spoon! Oh, get him with the spoon! Oh, get it! Get it! Oh! Oh, no! Pass the pickle! Oh, watch out! He's coming oh, to your he's location! Oh, oh, no! Pass the pickle! Oh, I'm coming! Oh! oh. I did it, Pastor Pickle! I saved your life! And this you saved my life! tamed by the spoon of power! What? You bad bear, you be a good Whoa. bear, you hear me? That you was understand? amazing! Oh my god. You're looking at me like you're stuffed or something. Anyways, oh. I'm gonna set him. No, I'm gonna hold on to him. Oh, Don't big brain, thank you! Are you wow. okay, Pastor Pickle? I am, you saved me! Good! Oh, very, man. very good. You know, Pastor Ooh. Pickle, this reminds me of, of something. Because we're friends yeah. and I protected yeah. you. You did! I did it like the shepherd. I jumped through that transporter. Yeah. I don't want to get too close, might get sucked in again. <laughs> and uh, came over there and I helped you. I was kind of like a shepherd protecting his sheep. Yeah, absolutely. Do you know what one of the key characteristics of sheep is, Pastor Pickle? They're fluffy. They're not very smart. Oh! Oh, maybe oh. I shouldn't have said that. Did I hurt your feelings? I didn't mean no, it. No, not way. really. I just meant not you don't really. know how to deal with bears. True, I don't. I have this no reminds idea. me of a, a story, or a truth, I should say, about the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. He is the good shepherd. That's true. So yeah, many times we, we get attacked by things like wild bears, figuratively speaking, children, and we don't know yeah. what to do. But Jesus, he does. Amen. And he'll protect us. Because he's the good shepherd. And children, right. we know that above all because Jesus gave his life for his people. That's right. So believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Now, I obviously right. have to go find a place for my new bear pet. <laughs> I think I'll call him Andy. Andy <laughs> seems to be a great <laughs> name a for name. a little cute bear, right? <laughs> who, who would yeah. name anybody Andy? Anyways... Uh, so long for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye, big brain.